hello guys welcome back to the channel so first of all just log in with your uh, google cloud uh, console okay like this now just scroll down a little bit and uh, copy this command now activate your cloud shell click on continue So now it's done let me just increase the text size okay now run the first command click on authorize now simply copy this command and paste run that command also now just scroll down a little bit and first of all we have to just uh, log in with your aws console so just open this thing also in new window now in incognito window now here For the username copy this paste over here then copy this password and paste now simply click on sign in wait for a few seconds and once you click on this uh, you must uh, choose the us east one so it's already chosen for me so no need to make any changes okay now come back to your our dashboard now we just need to one add a service key and create one credentials.json file so search for the iam click in uh, open this now click on this service account if it asks for you to select a project you just uh, click on this now from here choose this one if not you will get like this kind of output now simply click on this then go to keys then click on add key create a new key and simply must be json type and simply click on create now you can click on close okay now if you just click on check my progress you will get a score yeah like this it's take to few minutes to update the score so do not worry about that now go back to dashboard now simply click on three dots then click on upload then choose file and from here go to your download section and make sure you choose the updated and the latest download json file click on open and click on upload so it's uploaded let me just click on cross and now here please pay attention first of all just copy from this dot to this like here and paste over here let me just clear this out so that you can see clearly like this now go to your uh, downloaded file okay now copy all this uh, uh, all the name of the file sorry for this copy this thing and paste over here so it's your output must be like like this now just copy this command paste over here and then copy this command paste over here now here we have to add three lines first of all just copy this paste over here then hit enter then copy this line and paste over here now here your aws access key so just copy this access key remove this and paste that access key now copy the your secret key copy that command paste over here then copy your secret key and replace with this like this now hit ctrl x shift y and hit enter okay now if you just run this command you must get like this kind of output default access key and secret key so once you're done with this now copy this command and paste then copy this and paste then copy this command and paste then copy this and paste 
it will take few seconds so just wait for that and it's done now copy this plan command and run over here Now it will take few seconds so just wait for that and it's done. Now copy this command, paste over here, then hit enter button two times and done. Now copy this command and paste over here, you are done. Then copy this one and paste. And it's done. So now we have to work on the AWS console. So first of all, just come over here and search for the VM instance. Click on that and just scroll uh, in the left side, just scroll down. Here you'll get in the setting uh, option, you will get metadata. Go there, then click on SSH key and then click on this down arrow. Okay, now here go to your uh, AWS console and search for key pair. And if you just type key, you will get in the fe features, you will get the key pair. Click on that. Now just wait for a few seconds and click on this action. Then click on import key pair. For the name, we have to give this name VM SSH key like this. Then go to your metadata and copy all this content like this go to your aws console and paste over here like this it must be look like this then simply click on import key pair so it's done now just scroll down a little bit on the task number eight copy this command go to your dashboard run then copy this command run And it's done now. Now just copy this plan command and run. Now this will take around five to six minutes. So just wait for that. Oh no. Uh, this command will take around five to six minutes. So yeah, the apply command will take five to six minutes. So just wait for that thing. It will ask, do you want to continue? That time we have to just type yes, enter the value, type yes. And now just wait for five to six minutes and you will get a uh, green tick on the your second deploy the terraform on this and once you get a score on this no need to do anything you are good to go you can end the lab so just wait for a few minutes and you, can, you will get a full score on that task
so it's finally done now if you just click on check my progress you will get a score without any issue so that's the way we have to complete this lab if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching guys and have a good day